Friday Night Lights, sponsored by Isabella Bank. Welcome back to part three of this edition of Friday Night Lights. It's time now to find out which play was crowned our WNEM Play of the Night. Friday Night Lights Play of the Night, sponsored by Hurley Medical Center. We go back to our WNEM Game of the Week between Goodrich and Freeland. The Falcons loud up and look at Wilson Huckapee. Knows he's going to get hit, but goes over the defender, hauls it in and hangs on to the football. What a catch. It's in double coverage, too. And again, these two teams, every time they face off in the playoffs, it's physical. That play is no different whatsoever. Amazing job in that catch, getting hit up high and down low and be able to hang on to that ball Ooh. as well. Great catch. And of course, looks like it led to a touchdown as well. It did. For the Falcons. Yes, beautiful play. Well, now we'll announce our WNEM Game of the Week on Monday because we got to see which games, if any, are played on Friday. But here are some regional final matchups that we'll certainly have our eye on. Gladwin at Frankenmuth, Hazlitt versus Goodrich, Grand Blank and Rochester Adams. I mean, guys, we have a ton of teams, eight total teams left playing. What matchups do we like to look at here? Instantly, you go to Gladwin Frankenmuth. It seems like these two teams are always meant to face off in the playoffs. So the fact that we get another chance to see the Flying G's and the Eagles go at it is going to be an amazing matchup. They faced off to close out the regular season. Frankenmuth ran away with it, but Gladwin getting another chance, looking to possibly get the upset. And for Goodrich, of course, a big game, win tonight against a very good Freeland team. So let's see how they answer back now as they get ready in the regional finals. But, uh, Heritage as well, look great again tonight. Uh, thinking of another district title, so we'll see if they'll be able to do against East Lansing as well. Absolutely. We also have two teams in Division 8 that if they both win, they would end up playing each other, which is uh, a pretty remarkable feat. And they would play each other, of course, in the semifinals. So a lot of local teams still remaining, still able to obviously make it to Ford Field. And of course, we're going to be there every step of the way. Well, that's all your news, weather and sports night at 11 o'clock. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you back here next week for another edition of Friday Night Lights.